what is going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm brian welcome to hog shooter hot rods and hey got a little youtube magic for you what the bed's painted on the c10 building a um, dust and moisture shield to fit in this hole on the door. You can see I've put the kill mat in here already to try to dampen some noise in the door. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cover these two holes up here. They're just for access for your handle bolts. I went through and hit every screw, every bolt inside of this thing, made sure that uh, it was all good and tight because the way things have gone, I just don't know how much of this stuff I've tightened up and how much I haven't. So I have to go back and check behind myself. I did cut out some little pieces of foam right here. I'm sure you can buy all this stuff, but uh, I am making do with what I've got here in my shop. Um, got little clips that go in the door panels they are brand new. I even took and put some foam on the door panel to kind of hit there. Mainly we're just trying not to have any squeaks and vibrations and that kind of stuff uh, when we reassemble. All right, so you might think I'm crazy here, but I made my own little water shield and it's just made out of uh, synthetic roofing material, which uh, could have been tar paper, which is sort of what these trucks had originally, but uh, a synthetic material, no less. And I used two pieces of it. So I left the slick side to face inside of here. So any moisture, water, whatever goes in the door. And then I used a UPS uh, envelope that's got the little bubble style protective layer there. I sandwiched that in between these to make kind of a pad. So we've got more there than the, the factory ever dreamed of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing and position it where it's just above where the door handle attaches or inside your grabber handle. Put it like right there. Cut this one out. doesn't really have to be here. This is just the way I'm choosing to do it. I'm going to mark this right here and I'll move this end down, get it close to where I was there. We'll just cut it to the end of that. So nothing real fancy folks. At any rate, we put that up there. I'm using Loctite spray adhesive. 
whatever you want. I'm just going to hit this with a light coat of that so that it'll stick on my door here. Make sure that I know where I'm going first. Oh, yeah. Right here. I'm going to nip that. So, if I move back there, I'm going to have to nip the back of him off a bit too, aren't I? So come in to... Everything's glued together, so we're going to be in good shape. Yeah, there you go. Door panel fits out to those edges, so I can spray adhesive this in here, and it'll be nice. That should help seal the dust and everything from coming into your doors. So, on the inside of this panel, I couldn't find clips that I really liked as far as uh, some people call them push pins. I call them uh, Christmas tree retainers because they have that little stuff that looks like Christmas trees. If you look really close, I've taken and I've cut these things um, so that they don't grab as tight because, man, we'll never get them out of there without tearing them up. And uh, I cut down some um, just foam, round foam, like you would use to stick in cracks before you caulk stuff. Um, did that just to help seal up the edges and stop any kind of plastic vibration, squeaking kind of stuff. Then I did put this piece on there. I got those holes sealed up with kill mat. So we're going to stick this door panel on and see how it all fits. all right windows go down good this thing slips in behind the window run channel and then we just kind of have to line it up there and make sure that our clips are going to fall in the right spot. And I bow it out, kind of see what it's going to take to get this end behind your vent window. It would seem that you should put this in before the vent window, but man, you talk about a nightmare. If you get this thing in there before that vent window, then you got to fight this to get the vent window in. And these little clips, they just kind of hook in the little oval holes. Get you guys down here so you can get a good look. They hook in that little hole there, and then I'm just pushing down and in. Oh, of course. When I try to film it, it wants to be all tough. Whew, down and in. Make sure your end one is started before you snap this one in. I'm going to set you guys back over here. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Mm, okay. So, we're pretty good right there. Roll our window up. Just want to get that stuff in there so my windows aren't rattling around. Now, I got the door panel stuck on the other side. Everything went on that great. This side, um, I'll go ahead and put my kill mat on here. Build my dust shield, all those parts for it. But I am going to have to pull the door handle and the door lock cylinder out to do my body work, finish it all up to paint this door. So, you know, it's one of those things. This truck sat for five years without uh, being able to start and drive and something hit it and put a dent in it. So, hey, just kind of the way it goes. Hey, I do like the way my hood fits, so much better than before. Got a gap up here. I did go out and uh, I scrounged up headlight doors. This one's got a little alley down here and a little alley up here, but hey, all the screws, clips, everything's there to put one on. So that's awesome. But you can see the outer belt molding on the 72 model has this little rubber ledge there, which makes it really nice. So this door is basically all fully 100% assembled now. Got everything there. Oh, I do need to get two screws that have a big washer like that. I don't, that's not supposed to be there, but uh, somebody added that for me. And door shut's decent. I do have the rubber bumper for right here that needs to go in it though. A lot of stuff to finish the old truck up. But hey guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed seeing this door panel us building the parts for it getting it put on there um door door shut solid truck sound solid i'm ready to be done assembling and put some miles on this truck so at any rate that's going to end the video for today have a good one all right guys so that does wrap up a bunch of little stuff got it looking really cool getting ready to have another door panel is always nice that'll just almost finish up the interior there's still a few loose wires hanging out down low 